this is a patient who is a 47 year old young lady with a suspected advanced calcific chronic pancreatitis with recent development of obstructive jaundice our scope is positioned at the junction of the d1 d2 you can see the bile duct dilated and you can see multiple nodes hypoechoic nodes and a stricture you can see an irregular stricture of the cbd in the intrapancreatic portion with large dilated pancreatic duct and stones in the pancreatic duct i'm measuring a hypoechoic area which was seen in the setting of chronic pancreatitis so whenever a patient has advanced chronic pancreatitis with obstructive jaundice we need to suspect and rule out underlying neoplastic activity within the setting of chronic pancreatitis you can see large stones in the pancreatic duct in the head region on a magnified image and here hypoechoic stricture which is causing the block of the lower cbd can be also appreciated very careful micro movements will allow you to see hypoechoic lesion in such calcification environment with recent advancements in ultrasound technologies including contrast enhanced eus we will be able to pick up this lesions slightly more easily in coming years however you can see here a dilated pancreatic duct now my scope is in the stomach and we scan the entire body and the tail of pancreas from the stomach you can see multiple hypoechoic nodes in the celiac artery area so these are the lymph nodes which are far away from the primary site as we saw and this will have significant impact on the treatment design of this patients so it's very important to keep in mind that all patients with chronic pancreatitis with stones not necessarily are fit for either endotherapy or surgery straight away it has been our consistent experience that a prior endoscopic ultrasound mapping of pancreas will certainly assist us in deciding the optimal treatment plan for such patients as you can see large stones in a massively dilated pancreatic duct in the body and the tail as you can see the duct measures almost 11 mm and now we have switched over to a linear echoendoscope to carry out eus guided fna from the suspicious hypoechoic lesion which is occluding the bile duct you can see here a dilated cbd with an irregular stricturing with hypoechoic areas we can appreciate it very well and surrounding calcification we are measuring the lesion again and this is our target site for eus guided fna so as we can see in a setting of chronic pancreatitis it is extremely important to have very high suspicious index to locate such hypoechoic lesion and then we prefer to use 22 gauge or 25 gauge needles to target these lesions as you can see the needle is right inside the lesion now and you can see the aspirate happening as we apply the suction syringe 
At Endoscopy Asia, we always assess the adequacy of the material. Though we do not have any cytopathology standby. What is most important is accurate targeting of the lesion. As you can see here, EUS FNA in chronic pancreatitis can be challenging sometimes. We are evaluating the lesion and we are making one more pass for adequate material. Please note that you have to avoid hitting calcification spots. Patient has severe cholestatic symptoms and therefore ERC was considered. A guide wire cannulation is attempted with a biliary dilator. However, when we encounter stricture in the lower bile ducts, we have to resort to a needle knife sphincterotomy. Since patient has advanced chronic pancreatitis, we decided to start from the opening. Otherwise, we usually perform needle knife sphincterotomy from top down means we will go from the top of the ampulla and come close to the opening and avoid opening. But since patient has advanced chronic pancreatitis, we started from the opening and we are deroofing the bile duct. Very gentle movements are required and we prefer wire guided cannulation. Once the salmon pink mucosal Exposure of the bile duct happens after deroofing of the ampulla. The guide wire is then negotiated and the catheter is gently loaded. We do not carry out injection of the biliary system at the ampulla ever. This allows us a potential possibility of draining all the obstructive systems. And this has been our practice at Endoscopy Asia. You can see the stricture on the cholangiogram which we saw on endoscopic ultrasound as well. So we do not inject contrast at the ampulla unless we have deep cannulation of the catheter which ensures an effective ductal decompression thereafter. It's a standard practice at our unit. You can see dark bile draining. And as a routine procedure, we are taking brush cytology again from the stricture. We make sure we have adequate material for tissue diagnosis. In almost all the cases, we do this. So brush cytology will have additional material and since this patient is 47 years old and the referring surgeon wanted to explore a possibility of resection though there are lymph nodes in the peripancreatic region as well as in the celiac artery area we feel endoscopic ultrasound will enhance our staging capability in such a resectable lesions. A 10 stent was placed which showed free flow of dark bile.